Well, good morning, kids. I am so excited to get to see you today and continue talking about our series on emotions. We've talked about several emotions up till now, and today we're going to talk about the red emotion or emoji. Here it is. We're going to be talking about anger. Do you ever get angry? What types of things do you get angry about? Yeah. What do you do when you get angry? Maybe you stomp your feet. Maybe you yell out loud. You know, it is okay to get angry. It's okay to be angry. That's an emotion, right? But the challenge is, what do you do with your anger? Do you find good ways to get rid of your anger? Or do you sometimes do other things? Maybe destructive things? Maybe you throw something or maybe you punch somebody? That would not be a good idea, right? Sometimes people who are angry try to get revenge. So it's like, well, if you're going to do this to me, then I am going to do this to you. Yeah, that's, that's revenge. And um, we are going to talk today about how David in the Bible, remember we're, we're learning about how David is running from King Saul, how David gets angry and tries, or at least makes a plan to get revenge. So that is what we are going to be talking about today. So let's see if David can figure out how to deal with his anger. Okay, um, I'm going to bring laughter over to help me tell our story. And if you would like to, um, laughter is going to either stand up or sit down when I say David's name. So you can stand up and sit down too, or you can raise your hand and put it down, whatever you want to do. And today, our story comes from 1 Samuel chapter 25. We've been talking about David, there we go, and how he learned to deal with emotions as he ran in fear from King Saul. In today's Bible story, we find David on the move once again, and this time he is headed for the wilderness of Maon. In Maon, there was a man named Nabal, which means fool, who was very rich. He had 3,000 sheep and a 1,000 goats, and it was sheep shearing time. So David sent his men to Nabal and had them deliver a message saying, Peace to you and everyone here. I know it's sheep shearing time. And my men and I camped near your sheep recently. We didn't harm a single one. In fact, we helped protect them. So we would like you to share your feast with us. Give whatever your heart tells you to give. Nabal was very mean and he told David's men, who does David think he is? I don't even know him. Do you think I'm going to give away all my good food to this complete stranger? David's men were shocked. And they quickly ran back to David to tell him what Nabal said. When David got word from his men that Nabal had insulted him, he was angry. David yelled to his servants, get your swords. I will kill Nabal and his whole family. David was really mad, wasn't he? Oh, <laughs> David let his anger control him, and he planned to get revenge on Nabal and his entire family. However, one of Nabal's, one of the servants, one of David's servants, told Nabal's wife, Abigail, what happened, and that Nabal was really mean to David. Abigail was quick to go and meet David out in the field. She begged David Please forgive. Don't take revenge on, on our family. That is such a burden. Then she gave David and the men a whole bunch of food and drink so they could feast. Well, David, he felt horrible 
about threatening to take revenge. He had let his anger get control of him. He realized his mistake. So David told Abigail, return home in peace. I will not kill you or your husband. Wow. Thank you, Laughter, for being here today. We'll set you right over here. David got really angry, didn't he? And he got so angry that he threatened to kill Nabal and his family. He let anger blind him. He knew that God would not want him to kill another person, but he was so angry he was going to do it. Sometimes anger can blind us to what is really going on. You know, sometimes people make us angry and they don't mean to. They don't mean to make, be mean, but they just say something that we take the wrong way. And so sometimes it's a good idea to go to that person and say, hey, did you know that you made me very angry when you said that? And sometimes they'll say, oh, I didn't mean to do that at all. But when we get angry, sometimes we are blinded and we miss that. Now, another thing to remember is that revenge is a burden. You know, David wanted to take revenge and go and hurt Nabal and his family. But that is an awfully big burden to carry. And so it's, it's much, much better when we lay down our anger and when we lay down our anger, we can receive God's peace. And that is so much better than having to carry the burden of revenge around. Our power verse today is from Psalm 4, 4a. And it says, don't sin by letting anger control you. Don't sin by letting anger control control you. It is much better to try to be forgiving when we are angry at somebody than it is to try to hang on to that anger and the burden of anger. We all want peace in our life, don't we? And so that's why it's so important to, to try to lay down that anger. I hope that you have been having a wonderful week, and I hope that you will let me know that you've watched this today by sending me an email, and we will send out um, a special gift in the mail to you, just a little follow-up activity that you can do. I hope that you have a wonderful weekend with your dads or your grandpas. Um, if you can't see them in person, maybe give them a call and wish them a happy Father's Day. And I look forward to seeing you next week when we talk about our next emotion. Have a great week. Bye-bye.